Hey everybody, it's Rick O'Shea playing MPQ Marvel Puzzle Quest. We're back at it again. We've got a ton of tokens to pull over a hundred total tokens in this video. Most of them are going to be the elites that you see here, 86 of those and a bunch of other stores that we're going to, uh, and, and vaults we're going to pull tokens in, in preparation for early this coming week, the latest Legends Vault. We're going to make our draws to get covers on Iceman, Professor X, and the brand new 5-star Carnage. We also have uh, 10 or 11 3-star duplicate covers that are ready to be champed. And we're going to do that today. Each one of those will present us with a legendary token for their first champion level. So we're building up our our uh, legendary tokens that from this 143 that you see here will go well over uh, 153 or 154 by the end of today so let's jump into it and uh, we're going to do the elite tokens last we'll start in the other areas to get the the few random tokens drawn and then i wanted to show you a little bit the standard tokens here we're not going to draw these today because we're waiting for the new game update that comes out on monday or soon after that includes a bunch of features uh, on top of the shard system, the targeted character system, the other new feature is going to be a multi-pull function in the standard token, something that people have been asking for for years. So um, technically, uh, with the bonus hero system compared to the targeted hero system, it's better to uh, draw your tokens now a little bit because there's no other areas of the game besides pulling tokens that give you shards for this uh, the shard system, the targeted hero system. Long story short, uh, I'm just a little too lazy for the efficiency we're going to get on the standards. We're going to do those uh, later, but we're going to do the elites today because there's about a 1 in 20 rate on the bonus heroes for 3 stars. And when you look at the rates of the shard system, it works to be a little more than 1 in 23. So your rates are better now to pull prior to the update. Not a big difference overall, but we're going to see if we get three or sorry, if we get four or more bonus heroes, we're going to be smart to do it now. We'll come back for the elites and we'll run those out at the end. We're not going to have any gameplay in this one. We just have to get these tokens in, but in case the update is ready in my Monday morning. So... Here's the Hearts of Darkness. That's the next story mode event that opens up. We'll take the one-time draw. Just a two-star. And then head over to Infinite, uh, Infinite Pursuit. We've got six tokens here. Can we get a couple of three-stars? We've been running pretty good on the threes from these vaults. last couple of videos maybe not so much today we'll save our luck for the elites would be fine well there you go there's a two star rated beginner support token not much going on with the supports lately although uh, i'm building up balance of those tokens thinking and hoping that we've got su there's a three star three star cap so i'm thinking there's no guarantee on this but this update that they're doing for the game is just full of features on top of the targeted hero system and the multi token draw uh, update we're also getting a whole brand new token in the game and it's also another uh, uh, token level design that people have asked for for a while but it's called mighty tokens and it's going to fit in um, kind of it's probably going to be rated lower than heroics but we'll see it's between the elites and the heroic tokens the mighty token has chances of a three star and a four star so uh, as, as opposed to heroics you can't get any two stars it's guaranteed three star or better so maybe it's maybe it's rated higher than um, than the heroics we'll see how the um, implications of that new token work out but those might be starting to show up as soon as the game updates or soon after probably in rewards throughout the game and other areas where you normally um, earn tokens and it might be in maybe three star champion rewards and their update and stuff like that so very curious to see how those roll in and what the draw odds are they have stated the, the odds on the uh on the forums of what's the rate between three and four stars on the mighty token so let me know in the comments below uh, since i don't remember off the top of my head right now oh and what i was starting to say with the supports is now that we're getting all of these updates and 
maybe the developers are like, okay, we've got all this great stuff done. Now we got to get back to supports. Now we can work on maybe a shard system toward leveling up supports as opposed to drawing the same support in order to level it up with a higher rank. I think that'd be a great idea. I don't know if they're going to implement it that way, but um, they really should do something like that. I think supports do not need to die off or, or kind of just get uh, dusted over. I think it'd be a great thing to work on next. All right, let's go to our heroics. We've got five here. I'm going to go ahead and draw them. Um, I know I could earn shards from these, but it's not much. And if we get a four-star bonus hero, that would be completely nuts off the, on the odd chance that we get one. Probably not even a three-star. All two-star. So they got us there with the heroics. That's fine. We'll... Uh, from now on, we will earn shards toward three and four stars from heroics. Here we go, guys. This is the elite tokens. This is an absolute ton, 86. We're going to burn through them pretty quickly. Make a guess to see how many bonus heroes we get along the way. We're going to get a bunch of three stars, but how many bonus heroes are we going to get? I think the number's four. If that's about, um, you know, a little under the one in 20. Let's go. Three star right away, and it is Loki. There's our first bonus hero on draw number two. Our luck was a little low in other areas tonight with tokens. And here we go. I think the elites are going to do us well. Bonus number one. I got it set on beast. We're probably going to keep it on boost beast for about another 10 levels or so. And he'll be my target targeted hero. There's another three star for cap. It's going to take a while to run through these tokens. Then we'll do our character leveling. And we're going to champion a bunch of our three-star duplicates today. So hang on for the end with that. I'm going to earn a bunch of legendary tokens for champion level uh, rewards and other tokens. I mean, uh, and other rewards. We've got a bunch. Three-star. Thanos. We've got a bunch of extra saved covers on these duplicates. There's a vision. And that's going to be a pretty good number of rewards coming through. got one three-star bonus hero so far. If it turns out that we don't get four bonus heroes, we will have been better off to wait and draw for our shards that we would have earned. So we're getting to the point where we need another bonus hero to keep us in the realm of expectations. Probably more of an odds guy and a statistics guy than you'd want to hear, but... Can't help it. <laughs> Getting some good three stars. Got a Deadpool. There's another one. Gamora with the bonus. All right. That's number two. And we have 51 more tokens. Now things starting to feel like we're going to get all four that we would have expected pretty much. Luke Cage. Sentry. Another Gamora. She's the lucky lady of the night getting another bonus hero. Number three, another beast. So I'm not too worried about um, what color I get on targeted heroes for three stars. It'll be a little bit more of an issue with four stars. But um, I'm trying to see the positives of the targeted hero system compared to bonus heroes. I did definitely like bonus heroes in general. But not being able to pick the color of the cover that you get for your bonus was always a little bit of a drawback and made it so that you really couldn't put your favorite uh, favorite choice on some characters if they had a rough build. There's our fourth bonus, guys. We are guaranteed to um, uh, meet our expectations now. So if we get another one, we did a, a above average draw rate compared to what it would be, would have been with shards so if we get another bonus we're in line to do that with more than 20 tokens remaining so there's just been 20 plus pages of comments and uh, suggestions and feedback there is a quicksilver on the forums about this targeted hero discussion and i think most of it's really really pretty good really well thought out and people talking about Got a, uh, another cap there. P 
people talking about if I have a character, like say it's a four star and its build is five, five, two. Um, so it's a 12 covers out of 13. You wouldn't really want to put a bonus here on that character because it could be another saved cover. Um, since it's not the color that you only have two in, it could be one of the others. There's our fifth bonus hero. We got um, ahead of the averages. We did good by pulling our tokens now as opposed to waiting for shards. Good deal, guys. Rocket and Groot. So in that 5-5-2 scenario, um, unless you're going to just champion that character and keep building the levels, that's great. Uh, but if you just need to get to 13 to make that character able to be champed, and that's all you need to worry about, you couldn't risk putting a bonus hero on that character. Now, if you do it with shards system, and you're earning shards toward purchasing whatever color of a cover that you want to get to be their 13th cover, that's excellent. I mean, that's super um, good. You can now uh, set that character as your target hero, and um, once you finally get to the 400 shards that you need for a 4-star, 300 shards for a 3-star, 500 for a 5-star, that is what you do, and then uh, you get there. But what a lot of people are concerned about, um, self-included, oh, there we go, got a plus 2 on my last shield hop. What people are concerned about is what if you draw that missing cover while you have already built up a bunch of shards in a specific character, and then it's like those shards were all or just a bunch of wasted time building them up, and you can't transfer those shards to a different character. They're, they're basically character-specific as opposed to a uh, tier of characters specific to 3 stars, specific to 4s. So that's what people are worried about if you get the cover elsewhere. Um, like in a specific store or something, uh, you kind of wasted that time with those shards. I don't think it's going to be that big a deal. I am concerned about it happening as well. I will tell you with five-star bonus heroes, um, well, let me say, let me say with four-star bonus heroes, I've had a four-star character set as a bonus hero, and I needed one cover to get something like a legendary token from their champ rewards, and I drew the character organically, naturally, and then I got the bonus hero on it to go one plus that I to the point where I went and went over where I needed to go. That's happened about four times on a four star, one time on a five star. So whatever, it can happen, but um, I'm hoping it's not a big deal. Really looking forward to how the targeted system works out and uh, definitely looking forward to where we'll get shards from other areas of the game as opposed to just opening cover packs. All right, all that's enough we'll talk a lot more about that in this uh, next couple of days when the system is live in the game and let's level up our characters when we get done with these cover additions we're going to champion a whole bunch of three star duplicates to get a, as many legendary tokens as we can this is kind of our whole warm up in preparation for opening our Horde of legendary tokens and command points starting maybe even Monday. Could be um, could be Tuesday. We'll see how it goes. I might do a little more review with all the news before I open everything. A lot of two stars from those tokens. Are we about done? Wow, look at that. After we ran through all those, how many? We have 111 two stars waiting for <laughs> rebuilding. Selling out and rebuilding. We'll do that later. Let's go to the threes. What number do we see here? 41 three stars. A lot of good rewards coming from this. Vision's one of our duplicates. Six saved covers. That'll be great. Good. With Beast here being my bonus hero and probably targeted hero, we'll see how far he gets today. He's up into the 250s. I don't know how long I'll leave him there. As my... Uh, Alright, 10 command points from Hawkeye. Thank you very much, sir. And um, it takes 300 shards to build it for a 3-star. So um, that's going to mean... You know, uh, you get 13 shards from each Elite token you pull. So think of it that way. You also get 13 shards from each Mighty token you pull... And you get 13 three-star shards for a, um, uh, let's see, and you get uh, 10 three-star shards from a heroic token. 
so you have to really think about how long you want to leave a certain character set as your bonus. Need that red on cap before we can champ him. That'll take a little bit. But see, we could target him as a bonus hero, but I, I just don't know how long we're going to... Uh, do we set which characters do we set it on and for how long? And do I really want to micromanage the shards or just kind of let it ride on one character for a long time? What do you guys think? Have you read everything? Have you read the 20 plus pages of comments on the forums? Let me know in the comments. I'm really curious to have a good discussion on what we need to expect. Totally awesome Hulk, four-star cover from a three-star Hulk. That's great. Save up a couple more of these covers for our dupes. Bunch of saved cap. Need to get that red. If I remember, I need to cash in my legendary. Thank you, Thanos. Need to catch in my shield rank level up. You get a bunch of ISO from that. I don't necessarily need the ISO, but we're going to spend over 1.4 million ISO 8 here in a little bit to champ our duplicates. Once we're done getting all these levels, I'm going to put all the saved covers on. I guess I wouldn't have to. If we're going to champ our dupes, the saved covers... The, the covers in your queue get applied automatically. I guess you don't have to. And we need to rebuild Kamala here at some point soon. Okay, four stars. Just a couple. Added a bunch of uh, our rewards in last night on the previous videos. 30,800 health on TA Hulk. Very nice. And we got Nick Fury from PvP 900 point level today. Right about 20,000 health for the first time. Excellent, and definitely no five stars. Okay, guys, let's go to our threes. We got to get these dupes done. Let's go over to the top of the list, and I guess we'll just do it alphabetic, you know, alphabetically. And Black Panther needs to be champed. Let's do it. Promote to a brand new champion. Level 183, all of the covers are instantly applied that you had saved you can click on the screen and each one each one of the champ levels will flow by more quickly oh uh, i was a mr fantastic i didn't uh, mean to blow past blow past that but um or you can just leave the screen and everything is automatically applied as quickly as possible his build at 535 i think we'll leave it there very good now let's go down to the next one in line is bullseye 12 saved covers Promote to a champion. He gets to 178, so he needs to get to that 183 level for a 4-star. Whoops. What did I click on? I must have clicked on the info uh, question mark there. Cool. All right. Number three of the duplicates is Dr. Doom. 22 saved covers looks good. Let those flow through so we see the four star come in right about next. Invisible Woman. All right. Didn't check his build yet. Yeah, we'll probably bring. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's fine. My lower three-star duplicate build, sometimes I'm not too concerned of how it's set, but a lot of times I build them up so that they're how I normally run them. You can see this one is not how most people would run a um, Iron Man Model 40. You almost always want his yellow at level 5. How funny, I keep clicking on that other item. Got the Hulk Buster cover. Very cool. 
This guy might play. So let's take his blue down. Keep his red up to the top. Oops, sorry. Let's go champ our next one in the line. Doc Ock. I'll speed this up a little bit, guys. Get that legendary. And he also gets a four-star. Oops, I went past it. He gets a four-star carnage. Next one is Magneto. Looks like I need to change his build as well. Oops. Went past it. 171 is his level. Let's take his red. Let's see. I did that wrong. Take his blue up, yellow down. There we go. That way if I use him in something like a lightning round, I won't be surprised by a bad build. This takes forever, huh? Sorry, guys. Maybe it's interesting to see these rewards fly through on all these duplicate character champion system. I'm a much bigger fan of Psylocke than most people. Set her red and black up a little bit higher. Next one in line is Quicksilver. Next duplicate to champ is Sentry. Spending ISO like crazy. How does this feel? <laughs> I'm glad I have extra. Let's see. What do we want to send him up? Probably, uh, probably his red down. Let's see. Yep, I think that's the way to go. For the way I use him anyway. She-Hulk. Didn't check her build. I'll have to do that. Let's go now to Squirrel Girl. Getting all these legendary tokens is great. Right in time for our big horde pull. Coming up soon. Let's see. Squirrel Girl, I might need to... Yeah, I definitely want to put her green up just in case. And her purple's at five. Very good. Next is... I wish it could be Cap. Are we done? 525 and 525. We're done with our duplicate champion. We're, have, we're really pretty close on a couple other characters. Great. Very good. Let's look at the stack here and review the latest legends for the last time before we blow it out up to 155 latest legends 5156 total command points at my last count that was going to be over 356 total draws more than that now probably close to 360 by the time we get there in the morning if all goes well this could be the um we could be drawing our latest legends tomorrow To earn that Iceman, Professor X, and Carnage, hopefully getting Professor X champed. He's only at one cover right now. Iceman is at 12 covers. I will have to decide how high we take Iceman in his champ level rewards. But it's um, the time to do it. Been hoarding for a very long time. Make sure and check out the next video and bring in the viewer luck. We'll do it together. That'll be fun. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We're going to have to end it here tonight. Please hit the MPQ icon you see on the left side of the screen to become a subscriber. That helps support the channel and uh, helps me do this a lot more often for you guys. If you need more MPQ on YouTube, hit up MPQ Mastery and have a good one. See you next time with the game update.